What's up guys, this is Wondergasm and today I'm going to be sharing with you my 10 Vegas hacks and tips. The $20 hack. Now this has become quite famous on social media, but I'm going to tell you guys what it is anyway. When paying for your hotel room and checking in, slip the person behind the counter a $20 bill with your credit card and ask if they have any upgrades available. Now the general rule of thumb is, if they can find you one, they'll give it to you. If they don't have one, they'll give you the $20 back, and that's just how it works. Let me know if you've ever tried it before actually, because I'd love to hear some stories. Drink for free. Most casinos will happily keep bringing you free drinks as long as you're gambling. Now the key is not to spend more gambling than you would paying for drinks. What I like to do is sit one of the dime slot machines and just sit there drinking. Also, you want to make sure you tip the waitress a buck or two every time she brings you a drink and that way she'll be sure to bring you another one sooner rather than later. Tip. Tips go a very long way in Vegas, especially if you tip the right person the right amount. Tipping a bartender or a waitress well enough at the start of the night can mean free drinks, quicker service. Either way, you will benefit from it later in the night. I promise. I once tipped someone at a bar in Austin, only a few bucks, and later in the night I went back and he poured me an entire glass of spirit and gave it to me for free. It should have cost me like 20 bucks, so there's an example of why you need to tip. Take advantage of whatever the hotel has to offer. Most hotels will hold things like gambling lessons earlier in the day for free down in the casino. It's another great way to meet people when you're also learning how to gamble. I recommend craps, an extremely social table and it holds the best odds in the casino. Transport. You can always get cabs up and down the strip or limos or buses, but it's expensive. So if you're trying to save money, the double decker deuce bus will take you up and down the strip every 15 minutes for 24 hours and it only costs you eight bucks. Ain't nobody got time for walking. Meet people. For me, Vegas is all about meeting strangers and making them friends and then getting shit faced with those friends. One of the best places to meet people in the casinos is at the Circle Bar. Every casino has one and it's normally where it's happening. Happening. <laughs> I've had a lot of good times at the Circle Bars and one of my favourite ones is in New York, New York. Go there about 3 in the morning when you're trashed and you'll have a great time. Normally located in the middle of the casino as well and it's round if you want to look. If you can't find it, you've got problems. Don't be a noob. Explore more than just the strip. There's so much more to Vegas. Old Vegas, for example, Fremont Street is just as fun and you have much better odds in the casinos. There's also a lot of free shows and all the food and drinks cheaper down there as well. Make sure you investigate. Haggle. If you have a fair sized group, it's not hard to find a limo or party bus that's willing to take you to your destination in style, but don't forget to haggle. You can always bring the price down, and if that fails, go elsewhere. Big clubs. If you really want to experience the big clubs, don't turn up unprepared. Contact some promoters first and fish around for some good deals. Find out the dress code, if you need to bring girls, if you're a group of guys, and also how much bottle service is. It pays to talk to people. You could even get yourself in for free. Handle your shit. You don't want to spend an entire day in Vegas too hungover to do anything. Go for a long walk before you get home, get some food, drink a lot of water, and then as soon as you wake up, get straight back into it. Don't wait around for your hangover, mate. Ain't about that. Finally, remember there are no rules and have fun. Peace. What I like to do is sit on one of the bike. What I like to do is sit on one of the dime machine slot. Oh, fucking hell. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed that video, let me know below, and I'll make more of this kind because they're pretty fun to make. I won't lie.